Today I've got a very different phone in front of me and I've been waiting for this one ever since the last one because this is the second version of the device. It does not look like a smartphone. I mean, technically it's not a smartphone. I think in the last video I called it a dumb phone, but this one is an upgrade over the previous one. But it's a phone called Punked and the model is the MP02, previous one, the 01. The whole concept with this phone is to uh, give up detail detox your smartphone although in the paperwork that they sent here it's not a detox phone it's a new kind of everyday phone for people who have realized that smartphones can get in the way of life you've seen it you've been in restaurants you even see it on the highway sometimes people are so addicted they're trying to drive and look at their phones at the same time. The concept that they're going for is that you'll still have a laptop or a tablet and you can use this as your modem. Just keep that device connected to this one. If you do need an internet connection for the utility purposes, BlackBerry secure icon. So I assume a bit of a collaboration there on the security. Now, I really like the way the old one looks. So simple, so small. Look at that thing. That's it. That's the phone. How crazy is this? Imagine your friend pulls this thing out of their pocket, you are gonna be blown away, surprised, amazed, all of the above. The material feels different than the previous version. It's a bit grippier, grittier. I think this could be exciting as a, as a backup phone, as an emergency phone, as a vacation phone. Palm was trying to do something similar with the Palm phone, made a video recently. What else comes in the box? There's a little SIM tool there, paperwork, tiny little headset, single earbud, in-ear headset using the Type-C USB connector. Slim little power brick, Type-C USB cable to charge it up. Standby battery life of 12 and a half days is what they're suggesting. 4.2 hours of talk time. So that's a lot of talk time as well. This is a type of, you know, an executive. Maybe it's a luxury device. You don't even need a smartphone. You're so rich, you don't even need to do stuff on a smartphone. Emails? Later. You need me, you call. Feels cool holding it, I have to say. You get a little vibration, punked. You know, you got the cool name. Very tactile inputs. Found a way to create a pretty intuitive interface, all things considered, just with the old nav. Silent mode, airplane mode, Bluetooth. So you can connect a Bluetooth headset to it. That's kind of important, I guess, as a communication device. If you want to try to type a text message, you're stuck with the T9. Now, for those of you that don't remember that, that means hitting a key three times, each key representing three letters. Like I said, see, it's three times and then let go. Like the kids don't even remember this T9 stuff, but this was our life, all right? Very short text messages. If I'm using a phone like this, I'm like, call me. I'm not texting back. Maybe your uh, social skills are not up to snuff to the point where you can interface that way. I don't care. We're, we're having a call, we're having a chat because I'm not T9 in your back here. Now, what should we do? I guess we should have a phone call here. I guess, uh, Will, give me a call. Hello, we're going back in time, dude. This is it now, is how we communicate. I don't want your texts. I don't. Want I don't want your memes. I don't want your fancy time. I don't want pictures of Otis. I don't want to see what you're eating for breakfast. We just talk now. You have to explain, you have to describe what you're eating for breakfast. We're gonna to have to get real descriptive. We're gonna to have to become linguists so that our words can better describe situations than images and memes and gifts. And we're gonna to have to become modern day poets. Can you hear me? Yeah, I mean, a it's, little a bit. it's a speakerphone. It brings me back to an old time. There's some kind of warm feeling about the fact that it's so different and weird and unusual. You, you just can't help the angsty feeling you have when your SIM card lives in something like this. But what if I'm hungry? What if I need to see something? What if I want to be somewhere, but I don't actually want to go? I want to see somebody else go there. Where a physical device, a phone, feels like an appendage, like an arm. Why you little? What happened to that? Hey, that, that does, that's not around anymore. You, I oughta, I oughta sock you one. Are we cyborgs? Probably. We are moving in that direction. When this little guy here makes you feel fearful, cause you need that fix, you know what I mean? Hey, it's not just you, it's me. It's definitely hilly. Dude is connected in all the wrong ways. He's wired up right now, top to bottom. It's disturbing. They don't want you to call the phone digital detox, but that's really kind of the only way I see a person using it. No more of this action, it's this action. You know, maybe that person is out there. Maybe that person is you. I know 
It ain't gonna be many. It ain't gonna be me. These guys obviously know the feeling. They made this thing. They manufactured this. They know the feeling. And they're searching for a different one. And you might be too. So if that's you, you might want to have an experiment with this. But this thing is not cheap. Not that it feels cheap. I mean, I like the design. It's pretty cool. It's one of those things where you could take a step backwards but still kind of feel cool about it. I don't know, like a vinyl record or something like that. Or a fancy mustache. Or a coffee that takes a lot longer to make. It has that appearance to it. So you can still be cool even though your phone does less than your grandpa's. There it is. It's the new MP02. It's all in good fun. I think it serves a cool kind of purpose. I think all of us should untangle ourselves every so often, see what we're made of, see if there's some human left in there, and uh, keep our eyes on the prize. You know what I mean? Okay.